This video is a tutorial on the proper cleaning and handling of your orthokeratology molds. Brought to you by Titus Eye Care, the eye braces clinic. All the solutions prescribed are used to clean, rinse, store, and disinfect your orthokeratology molds. We strongly recommend that you use these solutions unless otherwise stated. These are the solutions and items needed. Oxysept, your daily disinfecting and storage solution. This is a hydrogen peroxide solution that is used for disinfecting the molds and should not come into direct contact with your eyes. Saline, this is used for rinsing as you should never use tap water when dealing with any type of lens. Cationorm eye drop and cysteine eye drop. These are lubricating eye drops, one for insertion and one for removal. Ultrazyme, your weekly enzymatic cleaner or protein remover. Suction pump for removing molds. Progent, your monthly cleaning solution. We shall start with the lubricating eye drops first. Cationorm is the lubricating eye drop that you will need to place on your molds every night before insertion. These are preservative-free lubricants that are beneficial for your cornea as the molds stay in your eyes overnight. As it is preservative-free, do discard any remaining solution after 24 hours of opening. There is a cap for each tube that you can cap back on for later use as long as it's within 24 hours. The next lubricating drop is Cystain. In the morning, when you wake up, there will be minimal tear exchange between the mold and your cornea, resulting in them feeling stuck. If you attempt to remove the molds immediately, you might hear a pop sound, which is not advisable. The first thing you must do when you wake up is to instill one drop of Cystain in both eyes. Next, do a simple massage to allow tears to flow in between the mold and the eye. Hold on to the edge of your lower lid and this is where your lower lashes are, and apply some pressure where the edge of the cornea is. Do this about three times before proceeding to the same for the other eye. This causes the mold to lift off at the edge and allow the eye drop to flow in between the mold and your cornea. Once the massage is done, wait for three to five minutes. You may brush your teeth in the meantime while waiting, and then proceed to remove the molds with your suction pump. The suction pump is used to remove your mold. The pump has a face and it is important to have a look at the face to ensure that it is flat and not at an angle. Aim towards the mold and apply pressure with the face flat against the mold to ensure that it is secure. After which, gently remove the suction and the mold should be nicely secured on the suction cup. Do not pluck the mold out of the cup but rather, slide it out of the cup gently to prevent any damage to the mold. After removing the molds, place them in the Oxysept lens cage, marked R and L. Make sure you place your molds with the concave side facing down in the center before closing the cage. Take your Oxysept solution, fill the case to the demarcation line. Put one tablet in, secure the case and then let the mold soak for the entire day. This is your daily cleaning solution. You must change the solution every day even if you did not wear your molds the night before. The minimum time for the molds to be soaked in Oxysept is 6 hours. After 6 hours, the solution will turn slightly pinkish. This indicates that the solution has been neutralized by the tablet. If the solution remains clear, it could mean that the tablet was not placed in the case. If that happens, you should not wear the molds as it will sting your eye. The solution must be neutralized before insertion. Before insertion, make sure you rinse your molds thoroughly with saline through the cage. Remove the mold and gently hold the mold at its edge. Spray saline on the concave surface for about 5 seconds. That is the surface that will be coming in contact with your eye. This is to ensure that the mold has no peroxide solution left that will sting your eye. Saline replaces tap water to rinse your mold. 
Please do not use tap water to rinse the mold as it can contaminate the mold. Fill your mold to the brim with cationorm eye drops. It should take approximately 2-3 to three drops of cationorm drops to fill your mold. The reason for this is so that upon contact with your cornea, the excess drops flow out and the essential drops are kept within the mold and your cornea. This ensures that there will be no air bubbles trapped in the mold that can affect the fit and cornea. Now we will proceed with the weekly cleaning. Weekly enzymatic cleaning should be done to remove stubborn protein deposits that are not removed by Oxycept. Set one day of the week, preferably during the weekend, and be consistent with it. Upon waking up, remove the moulds as usual and put them into the lens cage with your Oxycept solution and the neutralizing tablet. Place one additional Ultrazyme tablet in. Leave your moulds to soak for the whole day. The solution will continue to turn slightly pinkish. Make sure to rinse your moulds thoroughly with saline before insertion. Stubborn fine deposits that cannot be removed by the daily and weekly cleaning will be removed by the monthly cleaning agent Progent. Progent is to be used only once a month. Once all 36 Oxycept tablets are used up, you will need to open another set of Oxycept. Before you start using the new bottle of Oxycept, you will need to use Progent first. All you need to do is remove your moulds as per usual and place them in the cage. Take your Progent solution A and B, pour them together inside the case, and leave the moulds in to soak for a maximum of 30 minutes only. Progent is a very strong solution, so make sure you do not soak your moulds longer than 30 minutes. Remember to set a timer to keep track. After 30 minutes, take the moulds out of the cage, open up your new box of Oxycept and transfer the moulds into the new cage. Throw away your previous Oxycept case and proceed to fill the new case with Oxycept solution and the neutralizing tablet. And the daily cycle repeats again.